Nissan Leaf Gen 1 battery swap bringing generation 2 cells and hopefully 30% greater range update number 9722 quite likely okay so we have survived the two schoolboy errors of trying to use the gen 2 sense cabling with the gen 1 computer and burning the computer and then assembling the pack without this buzz bar which currently is out again and cooking another battery management computer so we got it all back together with a new battery management computer put it in the car and the car briefly looked like it was going to go but then dropped out plugging leaf spy in showed that we had some bad cells and they are all suspiciously on the top here so cell 71 72 73, 74, 75 and 76 and they're all in the vicinity of this missed buzz bar. Now I really can't believe that we burnt enough energy in a fried computer to cause the cells to significantly drop their voltage but it is what it is. What we need to do is to get those batteries cells close to the rest of the pack so that the computer doesn't get so upset and hopefully will charge and hopefully will run. The worst two were 72 and this one here, 76. Now using the good old Sky RC hobby charger, I've managed to get the very absolute worst 72 up from what was a terrifying 0.7 volts up to 3.3, um, which is similar voltage to all of these other bad cells. I'm now doing the same for this one here, cell 76, which was the second worst at about 1.2 volts, I think. So yeah, it's at 3.4 now, but that's on seven amps. So when we take the current off it, it's probably gonna come down to something in the region of this. Once I have got those pretty much within close balance, close voltage of each other. I'm then going to use this fantastic tool here, the Grin Satiator, made by some good guys in Canada. A very programmable battery charger meant for e-bikes, but it's going to do well for us here. So I've worked out that to get those six cells to the same voltage as the rest of the pack, cells I need to bring them to 23.4 so here we are this guy is ready and waiting to go once the uh, Sky RC has done its job on the individual cell and then we shall wait with bated breath to see if finally we have a gen 1 car running on a gen 2 battery we have certainly had plenty of learning opportunities in this project that's the polite way of saying it and it's been fun the only thing is I've been using a petrol car while this guy's been off the road and that doesn't fit with my ethos. So I really want this guy going again. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. See ya.